Hey everybody and welcome back to episode 5 of Wrenching on the Rolla. It's been a while, but I am making this video to help out anybody that is installing cruise control on a manual transmission Corolla or a Pontiac Vibe or Toyota Matrix. It's all the same. That has the cable throttle, not the electronic throttle. How to do the wiring, how to get it all set up because there is no video out there showing this stuff and I want to get into it. This isn't going to be a full tutorial. The video that I use, the series, I will link below. It isn't the best, but it's going to get you everything that you need to know to how to put all the parts in. I will do a super quick overview though. There's an actuator right here, two bolts there, and then the bracket, three bolts. Take off the air box, you'll be able to get that out. This cable here on your throttle body, there's a nut on the shaft that always shears the end of the shaft off because they corrode together. So you're going to have to somehow cut that nut off or do what I did, which if you want to see this, it's in my intake manifold uh, video on this car. You're going to have to drill and tap that. It's going to be very difficult to get this to come out as well. You might be thinking, we'll just take that out. That's going to be corroded in as well. So that's, that's nice. Then you're going to take the cable, the original cable, two bolts, behind the firewall in the cabin, and then you're gonna feed this through the car, which you can see I was able to, out of necessity, get this one loose, but it's because I had this working room. You're not gonna have the working room with it right there. I was able to use a chain brake for a motorcycle and get some progress there to where I was able to finally remove it. Then you're gonna need, behind the wheel, there's the switch, which is right in here. That's the simplest part. And then you're gonna need the plastic cover, I didn't find the right color in the junkyard, so I just drilled my old one using this one as a kind of a guide. The EVAP hose you do not need because it's actually the same between the cruise and non-cruise models. And then you've got the wiring. You're gonna need the brake pedal switch that has the four wires. This is the original one, the two wire one. And you're gonna need the four wire one for cruise. And then you're also gonna need a clutch switch that's a big thing that was never mentioned because none of the reading that I did was ever on a manual transmission vehicle or at least the guides. And then you're also going to need this connector here, which goes, I'll show you all about that inside. Uh, this connector here, you're gonna need to pull some wires out of, which is in the uh, junction block there behind the dash. You're gonna need some wire to do your wiring. I actually like using this thermostat slash uh, doorbell wire kind of weird to use this in a car but it's solid core so it holds its shape it's also got a bunch of thin wires inside they don't take up much room so it's really easy to run and fit through places I took that and then you can see there's the connector there which you're gonna want to cut there but you're not gonna have it on your harness so then you're gonna have to run a wire behind here and then through the cab I ran it right there into the through the firewall I should have said then inside, I might need to go grab my light, but you're going to pull out, there's the, da the, the gauge cluster, there's a plastic trim there. Then the wheel, you'll take out the airbag. Again, there's a lot of guides on this. There's two little screws here and here, Torx, I think T30, I might be wrong. But you're going to take the airbag out, disconnect the battery. Do not take these out with the battery because they can go off. It's really rare, but it could happen. And then also these bolts get stuck back here. So you're going to need to use a little pick and pull them out because it'll feel like you can't get it out even when you unscrew it. Take that out. You'll get the switch. No problem. That's easy peasy. And then you can see how I drilled my hole there. Oops. So again, this isn't specifically for how to install the parts. I'm just giving you a brief overview. What I really want to talk about is wiring because that's going to be the thing that's going to trip you up. And so you can see back here, this is where the cluster plugs in. And then back here is going to be the wiring connector that I was talking about earlier. I already have it undone. I added all of these wires here, and these are the ones you're going to need to add. Which you can see right here. Let me show you underneath. Here is that throttle cable. There's the two bolts, and then the cable comes out of here. You just pull it through, uh, and there's a little clippy to it. Then there is the brake switch right here, which you're going to replace the two wire one. You're going to add two more wires and then the four wire one. You can see there that te that tells when or not you're braking. And then you're going to need to get a switch for the clutch and the connector. This car is not pre-wired with the connector. If you have the electronic throttle, 
it would be pre-wired and all you would do is add the switch and then add the switch up there. This one you have to get that switch and put it in and then get the wiring for it and hook it up on the connector. This right here is my wiring that goes up to the computer and I've just got it temporarily bypassed until I can get a switch here by connecting these together. I forgot to mention as well, you will also need the cruise control module, which is this silver box. It is pre-wired. It's the only thing that's pre-wired on the 03 and 04 cable throttle ones. So you won't have to cut and wire all of that, which is lucky because it's got about 15 wires. However, you will have to move the pins, depin and repin this connector, add the six, connect, the six wires for the manual or four for an automatic. And this goes right in here. You're just going to undo it. You're going to work with that right there. Nice manual right here, but it adds a little bit more work. So let's talk about the wiring diagrams. This connector, which I was just showing you under the hood, IA5, there's where that is. And then this is the pin out with the numbers. And I've got this written down here as well in a little bit bigger. Okay, so what do we need to worry about? I'm going to try and keep it simple. We've got the cruise control ECU. You don't have to wire this. You just plug it in. You plug in that silver box. That's good to go. You've got the actuator. This one you will have to wire. There's four wires. Three of those wires go to the connector, this guy right here. Then there's one that goes to the brake pedal switch, and then one of the brake pedal switch wires goes to this connector. So if you watch the other guy's video, there are four pins, which are these four right here, white, black, red, blue, red, green, green, orange. On the automatic, those are the only four you're going to need to move out of this connector into your connector in here. Now, if you've got the manual, there's an extra switch we were talking about, the clutch pedal switch. We got red, white, and we got blue, and we're going to need to put those in to these pins right here. And so reference this here. What we're talking about is so there's six then pins going in here if you've got a manual. Let's look at the diagram over here. There's that stoplight switch, the brake pedal switch. This section of it is for the lights, and then this section, that's those extra two wires that you're adding. Those guys right there are for the cruise control. And you can see, this is also going to be important, this is a normally open switch, which is why when you put your foot on the brake, it closes the switch, and then that turns the lights on in the back. However, the cruise switch is the opposite. It's normally closed, and so when you take your foot and you push the brakes, it opens it, which that then breaks the uh, cruise control actuator, uh, the cruise set, and, and, and resets it. So that's the same behavior that we need from the cruise control switch. We need to see that being normally closed so that when that opens, it tells the computer to stop cruise control. Now, this is why you can't just take your two-wire brake pedal switch and, and then install it and use it as the clutch switch because this is the portion of this that is normally open, and we need the portion that is normally closed. So either you get the four-wire switch and then you add those, just use those two wires, or you get the correct clutch switch. It sometimes can be hard to find manuals in the junkyard that have cruise control because generally cruise control is an option on the higher trims and manuals are more common on the lower trims. So that's why I'm saying you do have an option to use a brake pedal switch, or it should work anyways. I haven't done it yet, but you can't use the stock one that's the two wire one. So anyways, you're gonna move these pins you're going to take a little, uh, I used a little sewing needle and I was able to push. It's honestly going to be harder for me to show this, but I was able to push into there and then you can pull these out. Um, just look up a video for how to do this uh, by a professional because I, I struggle a lot with it and I don't want to even misguide anybody. But that's pretty much what, I'm, what we're talking about with the wiring. You shouldn't need anything other than these two pages. And you really, the biggest thing I'm trying to tell everybody is about this clutch switch, which if you don't want to add that switch, what you can do is you can bypass these wires by screwing them together like I showed you down there. However, then you're going to have to be smart enough to cancel cruise if you put the clutch in to shift like on the highway or else it's just going to rev up and up and up because it's no longer connected. Quick addendum I wanted to add because it was a little confusing for me. Anytime you're looking at a component, don't trace it all the way back to the gray junction blocks. That's going to mislead you, okay? If you look, here's there's 3B, here's 3C, and then you look on the diagram, you look through the pages, and you say, oh my gosh, 
3B and 3C are all the way up under there, there's already a wire running to this connector, IA5. You don't have to wire all the way between those. You just have to go to the connector, IA5, and then put your wiring in there. I circled in red those six connections. The colors are written RL, that is light blue. That's what I have written over here as red blue is RL for red light blue. Then we've got RG for red green. We've got GO for green orange and then WB white black. Then I also have it written as blue here, but on the, on the diagram it is L for light blue. And then red white is, is uh, red white. Lastly, these colors here that are just in, in between, those are my wiring colors. I just randomly chose those because they happen to be convenient. Those are not, those are for you to pick and for you to do however you wire it. The colors that matter are the ones that are the sequenced ones going into the connector, the ones that are written out here. Just didn't want anybody to get confused by my coloring. That's it for today's video. I've had everything hooked up and I've been driving around for a couple of weeks. The cruise control set, resume, the brake pedal cancels. I did end up using a four wire brake switch for the clutch pedal switch, so putting the clutch in cancels. Everything works as intended. There is a little bit of a delay now in the throttle response. It is not quite as crisp as when it was just purely the cable throttle now that it has that actuator in between. So if you're a, a diehard enthusiast, uh, you wouldn't be driving an 04 Corolla anyways, you'd be driving a Porsche. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But you do notice it, you do have to get used to it a little bit. But uh, anyways, hey, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I love, love hearing from you guys. And hey, leave a comment. Are you one of those people that when you're driving maybe on a road trip, hundreds of miles, you just never use cruise? Because I have friends like that, don't use cruise at all. That's not me. I use cruise, uh, heck, I use cruise if it's a 15 minute drive on the interstate. I use it all the time. So it's awesome to have it installed in a manual cable throttle Corolla Matrix vibe. See you next time. Bye.